near the base of Mount Buckrabanyal in northern Victoria, an infestation of wheel cactus is proving to be more than just an annoying thorn in the side of farmer Mark Hall. This is a cancer and it's a cancer on the landscape really. He has spent decades trying to eradicate the noxious weed, which can devastate a property. It's something that's it's not very uh, favourable to sheep. Uh, the uh, the prickles in it, that if it gets into the wool, the wool becomes useless and it just makes property uh, unusable. And it's spreading quickly, threatening farms across the district. Somewhere around five kilometres per year seems to be its spread rate. Basically an area where birds will fly um, daily and spread the seeds. Controlling the weed is almost impossible, with each pad of the cactus needing to be poisoned. We um, um, inject herbicide into the plants and it's extremely laborious and time consuming and costly. Lee Mead and her team have been tackling the weed for decades, visiting farms across central Victoria to clear infestations. I reckon we've killed billions. Farmers say government eradication programs have fallen away and it's leaving them with a labour intensive and disorganised control measure. And they fear they're fighting a losing battle as wheel cactus spreads across northern Victoria. The state government admits managing wheel cactus is tough and says its officers will continue to work with landowners to help manage it. But residents and farmers say more funding and enforcement measures are needed. It's just not our problem anymore, it's becoming everybody's problem. A prickly situation with no solution on the horizon. Eden Henninen, ABC News.